Every expert was once a beginner, said someone on the internet, but I have no idea. <laughs> Hola, mi gente, y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Yo soy Paulissima, I'm Paulissima. I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. Y por supuesto, tu favorita, and of course, your favorite. La parte más difícil, the most difficult part of a project es empezar, is to begin. So if you click on this video, you're probably just starting out your journey para aprender to learn el idioma más bonito del mundo. <laughs> the most beautiful language in the world. Español, por supuesto. Felicidades, congratulations. You are on the right track. En este video vas a aprender, in this video you will learn four things that you have to keep in mind when you are just starting to learn Spanish. The very, very first thing that you should do before I mention the other four is to, of course, what do you think I'm going to say? Subscribe to the Spring Spanish YouTube channel. Subscribe and click on that little bell so you get notified every time that there is a new Spanish lesson. It is five of us teachers at Spring Spanish, so you're going to get five Spanish lessons per week for free. That's a very good deal. Apart from that, here are the other Four things to keep in mind when you are aprendiendo español, when you are learning Spanish. Empecemos. Start with the right method right away. So the traditional method, you know, when you use like a lot of grammar and you have like word list, is the easiest way to get super frustrated and think that you're never going to learn. Aquí in Spring Spanish, here at Spring Spanish, we have a team of linguists and expert polyglots who have come together to create a method that it's called conversation-based chunking. This method uses pre-made phrases or combinations of words that will ease your way into fluency. I use two chunks in the beginning of the majority of my videos. I say, en este video, in this video, vas a aprender, you will learn. So I say, en este video vas a aprender, in this video you will learn. And when you hear this and you memorize it, you are learning so, so much more than you would if you were to learn each word in isolation. When you learn en este video vas a aprender, you are learning demonstratives, you are learning about agreement between gender, noun and number, you are also learning about el futuro próximo, you know, like the going to. You are also learning the right conjugation of the verb ir in the second person of the singular. Just, just forget I use all of those grammar terms. It's not very useful. So you just learn, en este video vas a aprender, in this video you will learn, and all of the grammar bit will click eventually and naturally, I promise. To learn about how you can use the method, conversation-based chunking, to be fluent in Spanish, check out the free Spanish training that we have for you right there click on it, you will go to this training, it's free of course, and you will learn way more about it. Number two, learn Spanish pronunciation once and get it right all the time. So within the limits of a very few rules, the pronunciation of the Spanish alphabet stays consistent. Once you learn the right sound of each letter, it will be the same all the time. It stays like that. So English is not a phonetic language, Spanish is. And this is the reason why for us Spanish speakers, you know, it's harder comparatively to get our English pronunciation right. You have it easier because you, once you learn the sound of, let's say the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, it doesn't matter where you read them or next to which letter they are located, they will always sound the same. A, E, I, O, U, always. So now let's see how you would pronounce these two English words en español. En español se pronuncia audio. In Spanish is pronounced audio. 
And what about this? En español se pronuncia auto, auto. Muy bien. Check out Mariana's videos about the alphabet. It's a very, very good, useful video. Go check it right away. I mean, not right away. Wait until I finish mine and then you go see Mariana's video. Número tres. Listen before you speak. Los bebés solo escuchan. Babies just listen for months and months and months before they even utter one single word. And then we're all excited because they say, mom. Mama. So don't feel pressure to start speaking right away. It's okay to wait. The more you listen, the more familiar you will become with the right pronunciation. It will be super, super easy for you to replicate the same sound. And added bonus, the more you listen, the more you will find chunks of Spanish that you can then memorize. So go to Mr. Google and find la letra de tu canción favorita, the lyrics of your favorite song, and just listen to it. And as you listen, read it, and you know, do it over and over, una y otra vez, una y otra vez, una y otra, y otra, y otra, y otra, and another, and another. Hasta que tus vecinos llamen a la policía. Until your neighbors call the police on you. But please don't call the police on people who are like listening to Spanish songs. Don't do that. It's rude. It's also 2020. Another thing that you can do is continue watching Spring Spanish videos and pay special attention to las frases que decimos, to the phrases that we say in español. Don't learn conjugation tables. Learn verbs in context. Keep in mind that verbs in Spanish work differently that, than they do in English. Let's take the verb speak, for example. I speak, you speak, they speak, but she speaks, he speaks, right? So that S at the end, it's very, very important. Something similar happens in Spanish, but we don't have two conjugations. We have five. Well, in Latin American Spanish, we have five. In um, Spanish from Spain, they have six. So it can be very complicated, but it has some advantages as you will see in a moment. Let's observe how it works with the verb hablar, okay? To speak. So we say, yo hablo, tú hablas, él habla, ella habla, nosotros hablamos, Ustedes hablan, ellos hablan. So, for the first person, for yo, for I, we don't have to say it, right? Yo hablo. But what happens when we have ellos hablan or ustedes hablan? You see, they both, these two persons, ellos and ustedes, they, and the plural you, they both use the same conjugation, hablan. So we can't drop the pronoun, or we can, but then we'll have to repeat the noun, and it can get very, very tricky. You see, this is why the number one advice was not to use the traditional method when you start learning Spanish. So don't try memorizing conjugation tables. Instead, try to learn a phrase And you can actually try to learn one question and one answer, and this will be way better for you because it will provide you context. So I could ask you, ¿Por qué quieres hablar español? Why do you want to learn Spanish? And then you could answer, Porque todos mis amigos lo hablan. Because all my friends speak it. Learning these two phrases, ¿Por qué quieres hablar español? And porque todos mis amigos lo hablan. Why do you want to learn Spanish? Because all my friends speak it. Are way, way more helpful than learning the conjugation table. Muy bien. Now you're in for a great start in your journey para aprender español to learn Spanish. Let me know how is it going? How are you feeling? What is like the most difficult thing? I want to know everything. Let me know in the comment section. Remember I told you about the free Spanish training? Well, follow that link 
because on top of the free Spanish training, you will also get some free sample Spanish lessons that come directly from the Academy. This was Paulissima y fue un placer estar con ustedes. Hasta la próxima. Remember to subscribe to the Spring Spanish YouTube channel, like this video and share it with anyone interested in learning Spanish for good.